let's have a beautiful experience in this video we're going to talk about boundaries how to naturally raise your testosterone your human growth hormone and make your penis bigger it's a beautiful thing you gotta love it all right before we get started here please do me a huge huge favor please ring the bell subscribe to the channel tell some friends Make sure you give me that art that finds a really thumbs up like so I say hey and of course follow me on my social media I go by Jesus underscore Detroit on my Instagram Snapchat I'm Young Dago and that's right we're talking about boundaries because you know what we're all about here in the BCC the Big Cat Consciousness the Big Cat Collective where I help you manifest a bigger wider thicker longer stronger and harder penis help you naturally raise your testosterone and your HGH. I'm a spiritual guide and a mentor here to expand your mind and increase your size. So without further ado, I'm here to tell you about some boundaries. And yes, man, like, you know, what we're all about here is of course, breaking the boundaries. We're talking about growing so massive that we ain't got any to contain us, having that huge piece of meat, swinging at the knees, throbbing to the pecs, Making you your best. You know what we're about here in the BCC. We're talking about not being, you know, contained by the boundaries. But, of course, sometimes you got to set your boundaries to make sure that you got the flow to keep yourself going, which keeps yourself growing. And that for that, you know what? I got to start it off by saying, salud. It's a beautiful thing. And, of course, like I always say, putting a little bit of the goodness into me. This vino is left out from the other night, so it's time to get it in. Salud. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful thing. And of course with that, talking about the boundaries, it's what you set with, you know, people around you, people you love, people like even with your boss, you know, of course, you know, depending on your job scenario or whatever, you always get your boundaries that you gotta set. And the most important piece of information I can give you and convey is whenever you got to get those boundaries set make sure you hit it off right away and it might sound like it might feel like you're stinging somebody just to be able to get your point across but instead of dancing around the situation getting it all out is the best piece that you can do just it's going to make you feel tremendous it's going to get you going to what you got to go and it's going to help you flow which is going to help you grow because you know what we're all about here in the bcc and you know essentially we're talking about on a day-to-day -day, you know not getting in your own way like i always say doing that wu wei flow the path of least resistance you know not doing things in a particular order just doing things as they come and enjoying the ride as you go and sometimes to keep that flow going you don't want to step on any toes but like i always preach you know if we're talking about growing a huge massive giant where you know eventually you know we're talking about you know, if a tank's going to be, you know, shooting bullets at your shin, you're going to have to put your foot down eventually. I mean, if, you know, even if you're not intending on stepping on anybody's house, somebody wants to hurt you, you just got to, you know, go ahead and set them. You got to set the boundaries right off rip because you know what we're about here. And like I say, man, every single day, the most important thing that you can do before you got a breath, you can recollect, go ahead and take this with me. You know, it feels so good before I even start my day. Just take this breath. I got a shot today. I feel beautiful because gratitude is the attitude. Every single day, you got to be appreciative that you woke up no matter what's going on, no matter what the weather, no matter what may be in your, you know, your uh, realm of reality. Because the most important thing I got to say about that is, you know, everything is anything that's fear based, false evidence appearing real is all, you know, tied to the ego anyways. And when you wake up today, you got to understand that you got a shot, a shot at what? A shot at life. And that's a beautiful thing. And you understand that, you know, it's your ego that's making you think that there's anything more than what, you know, what you should feel of being happy and being loved. Because the true energy of what we always are is always love. And like I always get this heart pumping and tell you about how we come from energy, we come from excitement, and the people that brought you here were excited to do it. I mean, we were created from a sexual explosion or, you know, co-collaborated you know, co uh, 
uh, notion of however it may be if you're a surrogate or whatever there was people that were excited with the paperwork or the whole process of you to get here it was a beautiful one at that and for that you always got to just give praise and homage to whenever that you're happy and excited you're, you're paying tribute to the whole existence of you and when we're talking about getting that heart going we're talking that center chakra we're talking about the power of love Huey Lou didn't lie you know what we're talking about we're talking about <laughs> get you a dumpful time we're just uh saying that i gotta you know of course share this matrix hack no matter what no matter what time of day no matter where i happen to be i always gotta share this important piece of information because you know if you're going about your manifestation and making yourself feel beautiful and the most important thing that you can do is treat others how you should be treated yourself and you know like i say you gotta start with loving you but when you're going out there and you're seeing somebody on the tv even hearing somebody on the other line of the phone or whatever you know somebody's coming across your mind just intend on that person that soul to have a beautiful day to feel love in some kind of way and you go along your day and you just hacked the matrix you just made the world a better place and that's what's going to help you you know help you understand that you know you're a beautiful piece of this existence and you all have purpose for being here you're meant to be and i intend on every you know each and every one of you is to understand that you are a beautiful piece of the divine and we all have you know access to what's inside it's just a matter of getting out of your own way and what's inside of you is all the buttons and tricks that you got to be able to just kind of just clear out the way to let the growth come in which is why i always say if you want beauty to appear you got to keep this clear you got to be a clear conduit for growth all that other stuff that's getting in your way it's like you know putting a whole bunch of junk on a runway i mean you want to get that plane to la launch off or whatever you got a whole bunch of stuff in the way we're talking about you know like i say even if you want to do drugs you got to be clear for takeoff so you got to go ahead and start clearing out the path and we're going to get that plane just you know launching off like a rocket ship like a streamlined butterfly Oh, yeah, I had to hit you with the Robert Duvall line from Gone in 60 Seconds. I don't know why that just feels right with me. And, of course, Donnie, all rider, Donnie. Okay, let's ride. You know I had it with him, Nick Cage. But you know what I'm going with today. I always got to get you smiling because, like I say, the smile is divine. It's made inside the mind. And any time that you're doing more of this, you're doing something right. So make sure you don't take your life so, so serious. You know, you got to take a step back. Laugh at yourself if you gotta scroll the gram and just do something that's making you laugh. Look at a wall for big booty. Pay. I'm not saying what I have to do for you, but there's something in there that's gonna make that's gonna resonate well with you. And if it's making you laugh and it's making you feel bliss, then you, like I say, you're paying tribute to your existence because that's what we all come from. And whenever you're doing that, you're doing something right. The smile is power, so always be able to just supercharge it and grab it at any given time because you're going to get back to what you automatically are like i always it's like i always say you know we're all part of the stars and if you want to you know like i said you want to shine bright you go ahead and just you know brush your teeth because i always got to share that brush brush just to give you a free uh you know a free uh moment to just go smile and what i was going to go with when i was in that rant what i was thinking about is you know no matter what anybody says out there don't let anybody's, uh, you know, don't let anybody that's, uh, that is shining brighter than you take away the star that you are because they all shine in the sky, baby. And that's what it's really all about. doesn't matter that this one's a little bit brighter. This one's a little bit duller. They all, they all, they all, they're all there blinging. And that's a beautiful reason for you to understand that we're here. For that, I'm going to go ahead and say another salute been a long day for me doing my thing so this vino is really hitting it right putting this you know those these antioxidants into my body really making me feel beautiful you know something divine so i'd say so mm. it's a beautiful thing now i don't condone the use of alcohol and i don't condone the use of drugs but i don't condone the use uh you not being you so for that like I say, all truths are true. You just got to find the ones to make you, you. And, you know, actually, the other thing, you know, believe it or not, somebody's talking to me like, um, it, like, where he's asking me, like, if I was impressed with somebody that's never tried alcohol. And I go, you know, I mean, to be impressed for that, I mean, I don't know. 
I, I just say that, you know, I think it's beautiful that your mind's got the intentions of wanting to do the best for you. But I feel like if you never tried a piece of chocolate cake, I mean, how, like, do you not know if it's good? I mean, what do you want to prize it? You never took a slice. You never took a bite. I mean, sometimes you got to go ahead and get out there and see what, you know, see what, what, see what feels right. And if you're able to, you know, ride the lightning and be able to take a little bit of this and a little bit of that and be able to create a mix of your existence. And that's a beautiful thing. And some people that's, uh, you know, that's just one too many ingredients for the recipe of you. And for that, you know, there's nothing wrong with that there is no wrong way of life there's only the way that you choose it and understand that you are making choices at any given time and essentially at a higher level we all chose to be here you know all the light workers out there might be saying that we were all called to this and at some you know some point of us we just felt like we needed to be here and i feel like i needed to be here. i feel like you need to be here i feel like you needed to hear this message to let you know to keep on keeping on and just let yourself know that you're a beautiful piece of this you know explosion of love this explosion of life that we got here and you know what for that i go i got i just gotta go ahead and just share the most important thing that's always floating in the air. It doesn't matter about how many hours you've been up, how much food you've been eating, what you haven't been eating, how many drinks you've been having. It doesn't matter what's going on because all that I know is all that I grow. And when you feel what's in the air, you know you got the flow. And it's time to grow because I could just grab energy at any given time. It doesn't matter what time of day it is. That's right. I always got to share with you the mind and muscle connection. You know, there's Paramahansa Yogananda. The one that wrote the autobiography of a yogi is the one that brought yoga here to the West. Of course, always preaching with the namaste, how to make people their best. But when we're talking about the mind being a wielder of muscle, it's getting out of your own way about the scientific, you know, facts and whatnot about how the body is. And like I say, I don't discredit science, but I don't discredit magic. And if you understand that it's your mind that's creating these beautiful avatars that we have, then you might as well go ahead and put the best intentions, the best thoughts, and be on the best side of the grow to help you flow. Because when you feel the explosion of growth that you can just about at any given time, you understand that it's you that's creating the body. It's you that's creating what's here. And there's people that are talking about, you know, uh, selling products about letting you, reminding you, you got to put a cuff on your bicep to let you know that you can just the pump at any given time. Whatever you got to do to let you know that you're alive, it's already here in you. And that's essentially what, you know, this is all about. Your body is continuously creating whatever your mind and your spirit and your soul is letting yourself grow. And I'm feeling this right now, man. I'm talking Detroit Rock City, man. It's still a little bit chilly here, but I'm down, I'm down here and I'm sweating, feeling anabolic, letting you know that you can choose to grow. Go ahead and write that down. I choose to grow. And when we're going in this flow, I got to get some of these beautiful mantras going to keep you flowing and keep you growing like abraham hicks says things are always working out for me that's a beautiful one and of course one i love to have fun with is i am magic i am divine and the universe is on my side and i'm feeling this right now and like i said another one is giving of course that gratitude and appreciation to what you have going and like i say you know i am so happy and grateful that my huge beautiful muscles are growing bigger harder stronger more defined abundantly and of course for that huge piece of meat swinging at the knees we're gonna get it throbbing to the pecs growing to the giant guides that we are so we gotta go ahead and say i'm so happy and grateful that my huge beautiful penis is growing bigger wider thicker longer stronger and harder abundantly and i'm getting really lit right now in this 2020 growth and we're talking about this flow and of course the my favorite one to say whenever you gotta just you know get that last rep out at the gym or wherever you happen to be of course we're being in the quarantine you might have a lot more opportunities to scream and yell and it feels so beautiful to do it because you know what i gotta say when you gotta get one last rep up one last push up one last pull up you go ahead and one last edge one last kegel just feel it with me and say i am magic i am divine and i can increase my size oh, yeah.
huge. It's a beautiful thing. Whew. You gotta love it, man. I was really feeling it. I got the sweat dripping just from sitting in a chair, long hair flowing, skin glowing, spirit knowing, body growing. I'm doing something right. And for that, hitting with another solid. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful thing. So, like I said, man, talking about boundaries today, make sure whenever you gotta set them, hit it off as hard as you can right away. The quicker and more concise that you are to the point, the more room you're gonna have for the grow. Because you can't get mad about stepping on anybody's toes when you're in the when you when your intention is for the best of being you, because your existence matters. And don't think, you know, even being a people pleaser and going out there and wanting to intend on the best and be able to be of most help for the ones that you love. Sometimes you gotta just be like, you know what? I gotta do this for me. And you know what? If they don't understand, that's fine. You know what I mean? It's just you gotta get back to what matters to you because the more that you help yourself, the more that you're helping the world, the more that you're helping the universe. I mean, even Jesus Christ didn't lie. I mean, go forth and tell nobody and, uh, you know, God, God helps those who help themselves. And I'm not preaching religion. I'm just taking a couple, uh, you know, pieces of uh, true validity that can be expressed through, you know, any, it could be expressed in any uh, type of, uh, you know, existence. And that's all, that's all I'm here to share. And I'm just here to tell you that I love you guys. And I intend on all you guys to understand that you are beautiful. You should, I intend on you to be confident being naked. Be confident being yourself. And just understand that the more that you love you, the more that you're loving everybody else. Like I say, the universe is a mirror. And when you're loving you, you're loving everybody out there. So make sure when you're going by that mirror today, you're looking at that guy on the other side. You go ahead and say, how you doing? You're looking beautiful. You know, doing beautiful. Whatever you guys say, of course, use your own words. Just whatever feels right to you. And that's all you've got to do. And it's going to help you. It's going to help, you know, bring balance into what we all are. And like I say, man, when you're going out there and you got some, you know, of course, other types of energies and other types of, uh, you know, what may or may not be. There's a, a couple uh, hacks that I always got to share. And the one that is most important that really, you know, always it always helps me like just to bring that, uh, the plane of neutrality is Ho'oponopono, that Hawaiian practice. I shared this a couple times, but you know what? I feel, I feel the inclination to share it right now because whenever you have uh, the idea of how you should think of somebody, you got to take your judgment away. And ego is one of the quickest things that you got to understand isn't always accurate. Because I mean, I feel like the our spirits and the layers of what we are, we're like, you know, like a beautiful tree, an onion, whatever it is, like the core of us wouldn't exist. The, the core of you wouldn't, uh, the core of you is always going to be there, but the layers that keep getting added, you know, have um, a spice of your ego on it and they get knocked down every which way. And, you know, the, the thing you got to, any time that you're afraid, it's really just your ego reflecting, um, you know, reflecting the fact that it's got to be grounded to this so-called reality, this experience of whatever this is. And the more you get out of your own way, the more that you understand that there's more to you than, you know, what you think you is. Because I feel like there's so much more. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, supercharging your ego up every now and then if you want to, you know, if you want to just, you know, pop the clutch and drop a gear and just and flex it up a little bit. There's nothing wrong with it. I think, you know, it's a spice of life. It's a beautiful, uh, you know, it's a beautiful medley to put, um, you know, flavor into the everyday mundane. And I like seeing characters of all walks of life. It's just a matter of understanding that it's not all, you know, your character. There's more to you than just, you know, than one layer of you. You got so many dimensions and there's always a flavor of your character on every, every, every dimension. And you just ain't gotta get lost with it. So with Ho'oponopono, 
it's the four magical phrases that really just put you in that plane that place of neutrality like i say there's a hawaiian it's a hawaiian practice a doctor shared it with his clients and you know our he had a whole list of people that were looked at as being uh, mentally unstable and you know he didn't even go in there he's like let me just look at this list he said four magical phrases and it cured them and i really you know whenever i go somewhere or have a thought about somebody i like to i like to practice this because it really helps bring the neutrality to me and what it has to do with is you know of course you say i am sorry because you know you got to take ownership for anything that you've done even if you feel like just how you're feeling if somebody like threw you down and you know just whatever cut you off flicked you off however it may be you just gotta be like you know what i'm sorry like maybe Whatever I did to make myself feel like that and make that guy do this, like I'm sorry about it. You gotta take ownership for it. And then you gotta say, please forgive me, because you gotta ask for forgiveness. And then you gotta say thank you, because gratitude is the attitude. And then of course, I love you, because you know what? The power of love is real. The power of love is what's gonna help heal. And that's something that, you know, you gotta feel. So like I said, the four magical phrases is I am sorry, please forgive me, Thank you. I love you. And that's all you got to say over and over and over and over and over again. And it'll put you in that neutral plane. And it's going to help you understand that you are, you know, that there's no reason to get lost in anything. It really helps you feel beautiful and it just lets you clear up the, uh, you know, the monotony in the air and just kind of gives you a reset. You know what I mean? So with that, I feel that we're going to close this beautiful experience. Yet again, make sure you guys are following me on my social media. Check out my cat C. Taking care of the neighborhood. My wolf and my bear always there. And of course, make sure you guys drop me a line in the email if you want to really, you know, increase your size where I can teach you the techniques that are manifested through me. We're talking about, you know, utilizing sexual energy with exercises, working out with Cochrane. We're talking about super, super edging super joking super kegels we're talking about masturbation for manifestation we're talking about so many techniques that can help you become your best version there's no set schedule that you gotta have it's just about just putting the mind into the size and letting you know that you can do it so for that i'm here for you Tend on all you guys to feel beautiful today to spread some love today and you know like i say man i'll be here for you so for that i say i love you guys i'll see you around peace